Well, hi, my name is Matt. Today we're going to learn how to calibrate the new GPI electronic display. This display is been or has been used for years on our uh, all our G2 series, our A1 series, and also our newer PVC TM series. Recently, they've been updated to give some more features. But the first thing you need to know is how do you tell if you have an old or a new display? This here is one of the old displays. This is one of the new displays. First of all, you can see the old one is off. The new one is always on. Uh, old one, you had to push the display button for it to come on. You can also notice the numbers are a little bit smaller. The, the numbers in the newer one are larger. But one of the easiest ways to tell is up in the top left-hand corner, it says GAL on an old one for gallons. Well, it says GL on a newer one, and then also says FAC, F-A-C, for factory calibration on the newer one, while on the older one it said preset for the factory calibration. Well, now we're going to talk about how to calibrate the new one. I'm going to get the old one a little bit out of the way. The new one, first of all, why do you want to calibrate it? They come from the cap of the factory calibrated to the viscosity of water. So if you're running water or anything that pours like water, the factory calibration should be very accurate for you. But let's say you're putting something through it that's a little bit thicker, like antifreeze, and you want to calibrate it to that thicker fluid. Do keep in mind that you cannot use these for real thick items like oil, but uh, thinner, but a little bit thicker than water, products like antifreeze work just great. So let's pretend we're doing antifreeze. Let's say you uh, put your amount through there and let's just say you filled up a five gallon bucket but the uh, the display reads four gallons. So you're going to want to change this. So first thing you're going to do is hold down both buttons. You just keep holding until it says field cow. When you let go, it's going to give you CF and then a number. CF stands for correction factor, which in all intents and purposes is a percentage. So what we're going to do is change the factory calibration by a percentage. So in that example I was talking about, you filled up a five gallon container, but the display only said four gallons. To do the math, you take the difference so five gallons minus the four gallons, the difference is one, and you divide that one by the reading, which the reading was four, and that gives you uh, 0.25. You take that times 100, you get 25%. So what we're going to do is change this by 25%. You can see you've got this blinking line. That line is lets you change that particular number. We don't want to change anything in this digit, so we're going to use the display button, push it one time, let you scroll over to the next number. This one is uh, zero. We want to change that to a two. So if you hit the calibrate two times, one, two, that's going to give you a 20. Hit the display button again, scroll over to the next number. We're going to make this a 5. That 1 right now just happened to be where it was. We're going to go all the way to 0. So 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on until we get back to 0. Okay, now I did uh, mislead you a little bit there. This line right here wasn't where you can put a digit. That is where you're going to have a positive or a negative. With it being down low, that's a positive. Push the calibrate button once. You can go back to the middle here. That's a negative. So do we want it to be negative 25% or positive 25%? The, the rule of thumb for that is if, you're, if your reading is higher than what, uh, what the container was, then you want a negative. In our case, the reading was lower than what the container was, so we want a positive. Once you get your number in there, you hold down both buttons, and it says Cal End. Once you see that, you know you're finished, you can let go, and you're done. Now you notice it still says gallons, GL, but the word FAC is gone. So you know that you are no longer in the factory calibration, you're in your field calibration. Now let's say you've been using it for a few days and all of a sudden you're going to put water through it and you want to get back to the, the factory calibration. You just hold down both buttons, just keep holding them, and then it'll say 
FAC cal, meaning you're going back to the factory calibration. So when I let go, we're back to the factory calibration. You can tell, once again, because it says uh, FAC up in the top corner. Now, of course, you may be somebody that switches back and forth between water and, and the thicker fluid, like antifreeze. So if you want to go back, again, you just hold down both buttons, wait, and it says field cal. Go on back to that field calibration. And it still has the last number we put in there. Still got the 25. So we're just going to go ahead and hold down both buttons again. It says end cal. And we're back into the field calibration. So it's pretty simple how to do that. And if you do have any trouble, don't ever hesitate to give us a call here at the factory. We can help step you through this. And I hope that answers all your questions.